Okay, how about those sweaters? Sweaters can be tricky, and I'm gonna show you one that I love to travel with, but is very tricky to fold. But as you can see, perfect package. How did I do this? Okay, so let's look at this sweater. As I said, this is one of my favorite sweaters of all time. I've got it in gray and black, and I'll probably buy it in every color every year. It's an expensive cashmere sweater, so I can only afford one a year, but it's really great. and. Um, I just love traveling with it. Usually I'm wearing it on the plane, but if not, this is how I fold it up. So typically it'd be very hard to fold a sweater like this. You'd want to hang it up. But if you are traveling and you need to fold it, here's what I do. I take the points where the shoulders meet and bring them together, kind of holding the neck up, and then lightly kind of work my fingers down the sleeves, okay? So it's like this. I'm gonna lay it on the table, but it's not exactly where I want it. So this is why you have to kind of lay it down. The insides kind of got bunched up, so I'm gonna pull them out a little and line it up so it makes more of a square, okay? Flatten it down. Then what I'm gonna do is take these sleeves I'm going to bring them in. Okay, so now it's looking like this. Tuck that little piece back in. Okay, now I would normally flip it over like this, but I'm going to flip this way, right? And then fold in and in again. And that makes a nice little package. All right. So once you get it down on the table, in, in, in. And you can basically origami anything to fit in your suitcase. So if you're having trouble with a particular item, please either email me or write in the comments and I can do a future video on how to fold something like that and get it either in your suitcase or your drawer. And if you have a great folding technique or style, please feel free to share it with us in the comments below. And until next time.